Hi, I'm Jeremy Cowan, Editorial Director of IOT Now, and it's a real pleasure to welcome today Barbara Pirelio, who is Technical Director of the IOT program at GSMA. We're going to be talking about transformative IOT, in particular beyond connectivity. Barbara, hi. Hi, Jeremy. Pleasure to be here. Good to have you here. Um, the point, the first point I wanted to ask you about is how important have narrowband IoT and LTEM technologies been for operators who want to offer seamless IoT connectivity to launch new services? Oh, great question. I think actually MBOT LTEM have been very instrumental for the operator to deliver a new technology which allowed to satisfy some of the customer needs that were not possible before. To give you an example, they provide extended indoor coverage, a drastically reduced power consumption, which is also improving the efficiency of the battery and reduce the, the chemical waste. These features are the right tools to deliver smart metering solutions with uh, efficient and cost-effective uh, asset tracking, uh, building uh, monitor solution uh, for alarms, uh, farming, bike sharing, and a lot of other solutions are out there. It's obviously one thing for an operator to be seen as a trusted industry partner, but there are, of course, further revenues to be had in delivering value-added services beyond connectivity. What other services do you think MNOs should be offering? So, yeah, indeed. So the, the mobile operator has always been aware that the, the effort to deliver value-added services has a cost, but it also has a greater benefit. To give you an idea, the GCMA Intelligence has forecasted the revenue opportunity in the IoT space, and it's about $1.1 trillion in 2025, which is about the 68% of the is on platform application and services. Therefore, GSMA has recently launched a, a let's say, a campaign, which is the IoT Beyond Connectivity. And in our website, you can see how the operator are delivering an example in this area, which are touching on vertical like agriculture, utilities, smart cities, smart building and fleet management. The mobile operator are definitely looking at the different ranges, a variety of uh, enablers, which is a connectivity platform, device, a data management platform, security solution, big data and analytics, artificial intelligence, edge computing, distributed ledger, and the full end-to-end -end solution, which is actually also delivering the device itself. Mm. Uh, operators obviously are going to build customer loyalty if they can help to increase productivity, but can they also help IoT application providers to cut their costs and automate business processes? So absolutely. So the IoT, the main purpose of the IoT, it is actually to increase this productivity, reduce the cost, uh, and increase efficiency, and help the full automation process. Uh, to give you an example, uh, China Mobile has recently de de developed a sensor-based solution on BIoT for strawberry production in greenhouses. They demonstrated in one cycle they have a full return on investment the, with a 75% of increase of the profit, the 50% of reduction of the resources, meaning energy, water, fertilizer, and labor, and double the productivity. Uh, those are pretty extraordinary numbers. Um, you mentioned in your last answer the number of different technologies, like um, managing big data, machine learning, data analytics, uh, edge computing, distributed ledger, all of which operators will need to get a handle on quite quickly. How do they do that fast? Yeah, this is one of the biggest challenges of IoT, the knowledge and expertise. But mobile operator, they will um, build expertise in-house in the area where they consider the cornerstone for the businesses. Uh, other technology where the mobile operator will need to build it, but it will take time to build it, or they don't have, they will definitely need to partner with companies that have this expertise. Therefore, the partnering is the key takeaway for IoT beyond connectivity. It's that keyword partnering again. Barbara, thank you very much for your time and your expertise. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. And thank you for your time wherever you are watching this latest IoT Now quickfire video. It's been a pleasure to have your company too. Until the next video, bye for now.